Jane Cleland is here to talk about our upcoming book signings. Very busy schedule today, but it's such a privilege to have you here this morning. Thank you so much. It's you have great written to meet you. several books, but this is the first time that you've published one and brought it down here for people to actually get to meet you. So it's so nice for viewers to get a chance to go meet people that books that have actually read. So Jane, tell me a little bit about the book that you've published. You said this is the third in your series. Yes, these are the Josie Prescott Antiques Mysteries. Josie is an antiques appraiser. She uses her knowledge of antiques to solve crimes. This book is called Antiques to Die For. It's the third in the traditional mystery series. Mm -hmm. And you know what I thought is very interesting too? We have a lot of people that are into antiques in this area. We have Trenton Street and Western. There are a lot of people go shopping there on the weekends. So this is something fun that they can read, Absolutely. get into it with a mystery feel. Now you've written several other books as well, but this is the time you're, public, you're actually promoting this last That's book right. that you published. These, well, the, I'm promoting the series, okay. the Josie Prescott Antiques sure. Mystery Series. The first one, uh, Consigned to Death, uh, was nominated for an Agatha, a McCavity Award. These are important in the traditional mystery Fantastic. family. Uh, the second one is Deadly Appraisal, and this one's Antiques to Die For. In it, uh, Josie's good friend Rosalie is murdered, mm. leaving behind her 12-year-old sister, an orphan. Uh, the girl is now all alone. She's Paige. Paige comes to Josie and says that before Rosalie died, she told her they own a, a priceless treasure, a valuable antique, but she doesn't know what it is and she doesn't know where it is. Using her knowledge of antiques, Josie finds the treasure, in doing so is able to solve the murder and give a young girl hope. Fascinating story. And you've been writing for a long time now, correct? That's right. I have been writing. Uh, Yes. It's when you have something that's burning inside You're of you. You're passionate about it. I really am. I really wow. am. And I really find it fascinating about the antiques. Mm -hmm. If you know the tests to apply, the things to look for, they'll tell you if they're real or not. Wow. It's almost like a science, you would say. It is a science, but it's also based on knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. If you look at the inside of a drawer in an old chest or high boy, uh, and there's multiple holes, that tells you that the poles have been changed. Really? You really, really love antiques. I love knowing about antiques. Uh -huh. It's a fascinating topic these days. I know a lot of people are really interested in that. These books are a great way to entertain yourself while reading about something you really enjoy. Absolutely, and you learn things. In this book, for example, there's an important subplot having to do with Whistler's palette. James McNeil Whistler, the great artist, you know, the palette where they mix their paints. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you were an antique dealer and someone walked in and said, this is Whistler's palette? How would you determine if it's real, and if it were, how would you figure out how much it's worth? As you said, knowledge. Knowledge, yeah. It's pretty much it fascinating. It sounds like it's so much fun. Now, you are actually going to be at two places today where yes. viewers can go out and meet you. And the first one is going to be at the Westerner branch of the Public Library, and that's at 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock, and a light luncheon will be served. Okay, refreshments served there. Also, you're going to be at Windows at 5 o'clock today. Yes, indeed. Windows, the bookshop. Windows, the bookshop, the independent bookstore. And at both places you'll be talking to people, meeting them, shaking their hands and talking about your latest release. That's right. Books. And signing books. Fantastic. Well, Jane, I wish you the best of luck Thank with you your so upcoming much. book signings. Good luck with that. And I'm sounding, it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic release. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you.